Peanut Butter Brand is reviewing Sunset Overdrive from us. Uh, Insomniac Games is uh, God. It's it, this. Is, they've been. I feel like people have not been excited about this game whatsoever from the start. From the moment they released announced it at, I think it was E3 last year when they did that CG trailer. Um, kind of all the way to here. I don't think it's a game that is really selling itself uh, too good. Uh, you've played a couple of hours. I played pr probably the first hour of the game. Okay. And like only this intro. So this is kind of like the intro. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're, we're just going to straight up focus on actual dumbass character creation uh, right from the off. Uh, Peter said he's enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, he says pretty uh, decent fun. Um, here we go. So he's not that far in either. That's a winner. Yeah, all right. Let's just concentrate on making the dumbest looking guy ever. For oh, no, 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 no. Light blue is really weird. Light blue? Yeah, the one, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like that at all. What? You, you can enable the vulgarity filter and the low gore option in the option. Wait, did you just okay that dude? Yeah. He's done now? Well, so here's the thing. You have to do like a really quick kind of like five minute section and then you unlock the full character oh, creation. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Why did I do that? I don't, because uh, you are wearing your work attire because the intro starts with you at work. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. With your freakish blue eyes. Let me adjust. It's, it looks really dark. Is it too dark for the stream? Yeah. Okay. That's right. uh, yeah, if you have any questions at all as well, obviously yeah, we're, we're playing this bad boy um, uh, for a little bit here. So if you have any questions, the same as ever. Daniel Dwyer in the game spot. Yeah. Uh, this is an Xbox One exclusive as well. If, uh, <laughs> <I've> <laughs> so like the humor they've had in the trailers, I have not been into whatsoever. Uh -huh. Like that guy is kind of douchey, um, that like kind of zany '90s nonsense. Um, I'm hoping this is a bit more like Saints Row 4 kind of. Like it's self-aware with yeah. its ridiculousness. Because in the trailer, he's like, "Yeah, you should, it's a video game," but it's like just kind of like, shut up, lame. Oh, is this a late title card? I oh, know it's just telling you to go there. So this is the uh, this is the apocalypse that happened when. Sorry, I think you mean awesome apocalypse. Is that what they actually say? Yeah, it's really terrible. Uh, when um, what is it? Some sort of energy drink makes everyone get infected and turn into zombie things. More or less, yeah. Not this way. This is, some, is this just a dude? Is this just I'm just a dude. Just yeah. Just a dude, and he's able to. And like, I have awesome abilities. Come on, Danny. Come on. <laughs> Able to just parkour straight over five story buildings. God, they really are putting health things up from everywhere. Uh, so, how, yeah, how much have you played? Just I've hour? only played like the first hour or so of the game, which is essentially like it, it definitely starts with an intro, as you or is a huh. with a tutorial, as you can tell here. <laughs> it kind of gives you the basics of how to move, like what kind of stuff you can bounce on, how to grind on things, how to open your refrigerator and grab a beer. Is this, is this your apartment? <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> Look at him! Look at the feathered bangs, the mustache. Yeah. Too good. Blam! Play Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> this looks really good. No, like visually, like, visually the game visually, looks yeah. really cool. The animation so, pretty, pretty dope. Some of the problems that I had with this game when reviewing it, or not reviewing it, previewing, previewing it, it, is that I felt like it was just a little clumsy. Um, doing combat and grinding around at the same time. Like I felt like any time I was approaching like the corner of a building mm. while shooting enemies, I always had to just slightly fidget the camera around a little bit. And th th does it feel similar? Well, this it's. I mean, it's definitely too early to tell. But I wonder if that's that like a symptom of me just like not having gone through the full tutorial and I don't really right. know the kind of like nuances of the control scheme. That gun looks like a pair of dick and balls. Oh yeah, science. I mean it is called the flaming commentary. Yeah. So I think it's a, that, that is a intentional dick joke. One of many, I'm sure. Look at that, that guy used to be a JCB. Questions, does the game let you sk skip cutscenes? I love how that's the first question that comes up <laughs> from John Sapp. If it's a video game released in 2014 and it doesn't let you skip cutscenes. Instant one. Yeah, <laughs> that would make me very sad. Oh God. Uh, can you customize the speed at which you move around the levels? The gameplay footage has made the movement seem slow. Does it feel slow when you're playing it? Because I feel like it seems slow on the video. That's a, like a fair point. But um, no, I mean, if it, if it, was it doesn't, seem, doesn't seem slow to me. And I know that there is kind of like a character progression system, mm. so you can upgrade a lot of things. I don't know if basic movement speed is one of them. Uh, great question here by Shunton. Is there something wrong with the feed? The image is very dark, so <laughs> thanks for fixing that. That was earlier.
That was earlier? Yeah. I can, I can burn it up. I'm gonna burn it up one more notch. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, you probably love this folks in the chat asking about the, the speed stuff. I'm sure that leveling up your speed is probably something. That's like a kind of a no-brainer for a lot of games like this. It's like once you get used to mm -hmm. like the traversal, then they start to they start to modify it and make it a bit faster. Yeah, he's really, yeah. Lakotis underscore Picard makes a good point. We should have probably given it like a sort of five or one out of ten though. <laughs> Instead of a ten. You <laughs> take it back. I feel like this is one of these games you have to play for like a decent amount of time before you cast judgment on it. Like so many of these games, like lo just cause and like infamous and stuff. Oh, like yeah. those are games you couldn't really say in the first few minutes mm -hmm. if you're gonna like them or not. Yeah, because so much of those games is like the progression and the exploration of the world, mm. that kind of like build up of abilities. The abilities. Abili a if build, you will. a build it up. Actually, I'm not sure if that's the right one. Oh, look at all those beers. Yeah. Functional alcoholism. <coughs> Microsoft Studios supports alcoholism. You said it. <laughs> Don Matrix's last message. This uh, intro isn't as good as the band editor. Is this a better soundtrack than Tony Hawk 3? Judging by this one song? Yeah. Probably not. I mean, does it have Power Man 5000? <laughs> when worlds collide? Does it have... <laughs> that, does that, uh, name one other Power Man 5000 song. Uh, it's like Rob Zombie and Dragula. Oh god, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does it have CKY 96 Quite Bitter Beans? <laughs> Oh, look at this. No, don't skip this. Can you not skip well, this? Well, that was just testing. Like, this intro cinematic you can't skip. But that's fine, because it's also valuable context. Okay, look at this guy. Look at Ooh. that guy. Oh, he's getting a bit salty with that lady. What a bit of a dick What an absolute jerk face. But look at his pompadour. That thing's amazing. Mm. That thing defies all laws of physics. And there you are, <laughs> with your feathered <laughs> hair and your mustache, pushing your trash cart. <laughs> I like the guy with the sort of dead mouse head, the <laughs> dead mouse <Mal> five head. <laughs> oh yeah, look at him. Uh, oh, look at this. Sometimes I see things like this happen in real life, and I want the zombie apocalypse to play. You keep calling it apocalypse. I don't know Sorry, why. awesome it's apocalypse. Awesome apocalypse. <laughs> okay, look at the wall. Just... Yeah, pour it in his mouth. Oh yeah. This is like a marketing person's wet dream. Uns, uns, uns. Yeah. That's the thing, like, I feel like a lot of it is satire, hmm. but in like modern video game parlance, it's hard <laughs> to distinguish. Oh, yeah, that's what? his Windows phone. This is meta as hell. Yeah. He's playing like, so Yeah, and so that's a weird thing. Like, a lot of it is kind of like consumerism satire, but at the same time, there's Windows phone product placement. Yeah. So it's this weird kind of like... <laughs> Did he say what the fuck? Because that really looked like his, his mad it, said it, that. It looked like it to me. Oh, oh. Right, have Gordon Freeman of you. Oh, this all went bad real quick. Right, row. Can you play Sunset Overdrive? Isn't even available on Windows Phone. They're just. <laughs> I just. But in just, the Sunset the, Overdrive universe, Sunset Overdrive right. is available on Windows Phone. I love how this guy runs. He's so dorky. <laughs> Look at that big thing with, with a <laughs> dong for no reason. <laughs> it's a big hot dog. It's a wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man with a massive hot dog coming out from his pants. Wahoo! Oh, look at that! You like that? You like God. how we grab the, the black screen? Are they gonna stop flashing forward and backwards from now? I on? think th I think this is where we finally get to do the um, right. the character creation. Uh, Blaze the full character creation. Blaze Le asks, how similar does the game feel to Jessa at Radio Future? <laughs> not similar at all. Not great. Not all right. so similar. Let's uh, let's okay, here let's we make go. a dumb dude. This is the good stuff. I've I mean, actually become partial to that guy though. That's the problem. Well, we can keep the hair the same. Okay. Oh no. Patrick Klepek. This is good. Like it. Yeah. Buzzo? All right. We're going to go Buzzo. Yep. Facial hair. All. Oh, God. <laughs> gold Rush. <laughs> Show us the Soul like Patch. It. No, Soul Patch is great. Soul Patch is good. Oh, it's so terrible. I'm going Gold Rush. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, body art? Oh, yeah. Gothic is good. Yeah. Like Gothic. It really matches his, his terrifyingly blue eyeballs. <laughs> oh no. Did you change You're his doing eyeballs? like lifeless blank White. eyes? Yeah, perfect. He's got glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> He's got cloudy eyes. Everyone else got uh, turned into a. Oh, yeah, I think glasses are a good shout. Glasses? Yeah, what different glasses are they? 
white, white glasses. glasses. Red? red? I, I like red. the white. You like the red? Alright, fine, 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 fine. Where's the glasses? I really like the white ones. They match his eyes. Headwear, baseball. No, <laughs> I don't want to cover up that hair, is the problem. What, was that? what is that one? Go back. What the f Drum major. That's pretty great. Do you want to not cover the hair? That's cool. We may be the hair is too we good. May, yeah, we may the be overdoing The problem is that the hair is too good. Straight to underwear. Oh. Tube top? Undershirt? No, bare. Tube top's pretty good. Bare, bare chested. Yeah. Tops. Now, we could just go completely bare. That's what you usually do for Saints Row 4, right? You'd like to go <laughs> Yeah, totally naked? Yeah. <laughs> These are <laughs> belly shirts all day. <laughs> belly shirt is pretty good. True till death. What's that say, the other one? I've got some mad texture pop on those. Oh, that's Banshee it. Buckaroo. Yep. The pink skull. Oh, I like that. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Outerwear. What are the tops are there, just in case? Okay. Just, just a Hawaiian shirt. Sure. Do Hawaiian shirt. We can, pre we can pretend it's uh, Glenn Schofield from <laughs> Sledgehammer <laughs> Games. But the open Hawaiian <laughs> shirt. Yeah. And then make him post really beautiful art images on Twitter <laughs> and talk about <laughs> Call of Duty. All right, so he's got the open Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> no, just a Hawaiian shirt. Glove. Right. One glove. Yep, perfect. Oh, no body art. I guess no body art? You probably unlock oh. the body art. Well, there's no tattoo shops in, what is this, Sunset City or something? No, that was... That was, that was that was Burnout Paradise, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Paradise City. Oh, oh, these. I like the yeah. cutoff shorts. I like the fact that he's got a um, he's got a skull where his dong would be. <laughs> also, he's got a little butt charm <laughs> in these pants. Skinny Ooh, jeans. Ooh, they are way too skinny. <laughs> oh no. His legs would break under his own weight if he looked like that. Should we give him the? the oh, that's skirt? great. Yes. I like the idea that he's he's finally come out of his shell now that the <laughs> awesome apocalypse has happened. Yeah. He's like, this is the me I always wanted to be. Footwear. Yep. Boots. <laughs> Sneaks. What are the slip on? Sandals is pretty good. I kind of like the boots. Your boots? Yeah, boots are good, actually. Yeah, stick with the boots. White boots. Yeah. And again, no body art. Are you, sure, are you happy with that shirt? Sure, can you, do you mind if I see him with the with the? I feel like we should go back to the top. belly shirt. Yeah, the belly shirt, yeah. yeah. Although I'm not sure. Maybe the purple one's a bit, it doesn't match the green now. No, I think purple's still pretty great. Great. What's his name? We have to make sure that the underwear matches the. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no! <laughs> Don. Oh, Don. no. Oh, no. Now I think we shouldn't have the dress. <laughs> now I, that, that, that really hugs. Can you, oh, there we go. Yeah. Great. So is this, this is our winner, right? Is this Techno Viking? <laughs> Did you just make Techno Viking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. All right, we have to make sure that the face. The face is good. Shunton wants us to call him Carrot Bob. <laughs> Carrot Bob. <laughs> oh, God. Look, it's the dead eyes that are the worst. It's not so much the banana hammock. It's the dead eyes. You can see. You could just keep it there for a second. You can see, like, <laughs> a lot of his <laughs> gentleman's area. Yeah. He doesn't actually look like he's got much gentleman's... And look at the underwear's kind of low rise in the back, so yeah. you can see, like, a little bit of butt. <laughs> Damn, Great. I think this is a winner. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he's running out of beer. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> he's scratching his ass. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, has he been getting rip shit in his apartment for like 17 days? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think oh. this guy is thinking? <laughs> Walter just found himself a wife. <laughs> Walter's into it. Walter's Walter does not judge. Come with me. Walter's a very accepting man. I love. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna help out this big old chunk of beefcake. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. Look uh, at that. Look at this. Look at this. Carrot Bob and Walter are just gonna make the most beautiful babies. There's the crowbar. Great. <laughs> I'm actually like way more interested in playing this game after the past 20 minutes than I was <laughs> based on all their trailers. I'm oh, the character creation so good. The o the o the OD or the OD on, the OD on on sweet got. Red Bull. Is yeah. that what you're saying? You want some more? Where are the rest of these ODs? You gotta kill three more ODs. 
You got an OD on OD. He's just such a big guy is the thing. And he's got such a manly beard, and yet he just lets it all hang out downstairs. <laughs> it's just totally They ride free. so tight. It's, <laughs> just, it's, it's upsetting how, how, how much clench is happening there. <laughs> oh, it's too I good. I can only dream of being like Carrot Bob. <laughs> oh, Carrot Bob. All right, go to your, go to your checkpoint. Bam. Is there ever any explanation for just the complete yeah, ridiculous the maneuverability of this gentleman? Uh, I don't think there's like a story conceit. Can he double jump? That dead body over there? That Not yet. Alright, the 2014 rule of every game has oh, to have yeah. double jump. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's an angle right there. You like that? <laughs> nice. I broke that crate. You got your AoE attack. I got an item. I picked up the high fidelity. Wait, have I picked it up? Weapon wheel. What is that? Is that, that shooting was, vinyl? Yeah, the high fidelity. Every one of these has a clever name. Wait here. Right. Follow Walter throughout OD. the rest of this tutorial. OD? Yeah. I must defend myself My from the OD. Oh, really? He's your mentor. Are you just standing on that dead dude? That's not even a... I'm defending myself from the OD, <laughs> Penny. <laughs> Oh, some local kid. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at how amazing he is. All right. What are you picking up when you do that? Ammo? Uh, oh, I didn't notice what I picked up. I wasn't paying attention. I was really focused on the whole underwear situation. Yeah, Carrot Bob is pretty distracting. Apparently. Shoot all of the vinyl at them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grind. Uh, if there's any questions at all, go for it. Ask, and we shall. Ask, and you shall receive yeah. minimal information. <laughs> right, yeah, because we've not really played much of this song. So Peter's not here at the moment because he's working on a bunch of assignments, including this. So uh, thanks to him for letting us uh, take his, his hey, Xbox One for a little while, because he's a busy boy, but uh, he's reviewing this at the moment for GameSpot. Unfortunately, uh, his character does not look nearly no. as awesome as uh, Carrot Bob. No one does. <laughs> Crat Bob is the, the magnum opus of <laughs> character creations, hands down. Oh god, so good. His buns are amazing. <laughs> right? I'm doing jiu-jitsu uh, jiu later today, uh -huh. and there are some sweet buns in, in the gym I go to, but this is... These buns are really something else. Yeah. I'm going to have to be careful I don't think about Crat Bob when I'm, <laughs> when I'm trying to choke out Alexis. <laughs> he might like that, I don't know. Yeah, well, sometimes when I check out Alexis, he does it all on its own, so. <laughs> so oh, they just, they did just stick all these rails into the awesome Maybe apocalypse. this is part of, like, a vibrant transportation network. <laughs> do you see that video of the dude who made the, the like, plank of wood with the oh, yeah. coasters on it? Yeah, I did see that. And stuck it into the monorail system? He was in, like, where was he? Like, like Prague or somewhere? Prague, oh, yeah. yeah. Looks like a really check. clever way of getting yourself run over by a <laughs> yeah. public transport. Pongby asks, how much does a pound of cheese weigh in, on Pluto? I'm going to ask Google. That's a good question. A pound. Good point. Is that, no, it's not one of those ones. <laughs> I don't think it's one of those ones. Are you sure? Uh, any cool weapons to show off, considering the developer of the game? Good point. This is uh, Insomniac. Well, we've got this one, Dirty Harry. Is it just a revolver? So far. Well, the, the fact that they're even giving you this much variety this early on is probably a good sign. Whoop! Hey. <laughs> Look who oh, you brought! Oh no, this guy made a huge mistake! <laughs> oh, the lifeless eyes, the dead lifeless eyes. Are What's up, me. Floyd? Oh, absent minded scientist. Hey, Floyd, do you like lap dances? <laughs> oh, he looks so sad. He does. He's got such a look of morose to him. That's, uh, you'd not be wasting ammunition like that in this situation. I know. Even if you were a scab shooter. I haven't shot scabs since college. Mm -hmm. How about you? Hey yo. I have to level up my weapons real quick. BRB. Ooh. Oh, what up, scabs? Nice. Wow. That was actually kind of gory. I wasn't expecting that. That's the first time I've seen blood in this game. Oh, yeah. Carrot Bob does not fuck around. Ooh, what's this? I guess Insomniac. This is kind of like the combination of all of Insomniac's work with all the ratchet and then, like, um, Thingy. Resistance. Resistance, yeah. Like being kind of super 
gory, dark, and then the other stuff being like oh. wildly colorful. So when my gun ran out of ammo, it shot that uh, little flag out. Oh really? Thing, yeah. Go get yourself murdered. Oh, oh, eat that's it. awful. That's really. What did I melting these guys? Yeah, that's kind of. In fairness, they totally deserve it. You get all that sweet coke. You get all those Windows phones. <laughs> Where's the rest of the scabs? Uh, John Sapp just had his question answered for him. Is there any weapon leveling up system like Ratchet and Clank? Okay. Uh, there is indeed. Uh, what, yeah. what level? Level one flaming compensator. They're all level one right now. Yeah, that kind of hasn't really... So there is a... Let's see. Character... Yeah, take a dip around here. Yeah, let's look at this. Okay, so there are things called amp. Oops. Spilled my iced coffee. Uh oh. There are thing, things called amps in this game, which kind of like modify your um, weapons. Hmm. I haven't unlocked them yet. They modify the, 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 not like with damage and stuff like that, or is it like actual abilities within the weapons? Uh, I think it's more like damage and stuff okay. like that. I don't think, as far as I know, they don't do like change like the base kind of abilities of the weapons. Well, I know that there's like a big thing about how effective certain. Um, guns are against certain baddies, like they're pretty forceful about telling you these are the OD, mm -hmm. these are the other ones, scab shooters, whatever, like there are certain ones that will work on certain enemies, um, so perhaps it's got something to do with that. Uh, yeah, apologies if we're being a little bit vague, we only got hold of this stuff, uh, this game uh, today, and even Peter's only paid about two hours. If you have questions on, on Twitter, ask PC Brown. PC Brown. At PC Brown, yeah. He will totally answer all the questions and not ignore <laughs> you to do his work. Hello embargoes. Uh, how big is the game world? Uh, almost Swedish is asking. Can you oh. just hop, try and can you get into the map even from there, just to let's see, if there's a map. see if we can get an approximation of it? So, let's see. this is the game world that we currently have access to. Mm. Who, I mean, neither one of us can say whether this is the full world or yeah. if you like unlock more portions of the game. Um, it seems yeah. about the size of Infamous Second Son, maybe. I've, I've, have you noticed that that trend in the past like couple of years where they've just getting well apart from GTA 5 which kind of blew everything out of the water but um, they've been like open world games have been getting a lot more detailed than they have been grand yeah like in terms of scale Boink. I guess people got really bored of traversal like Sleeping Dogs is out again on next gen or on current gen consoles this week and like one of the cool things um, uh, Ty Root was telling me yesterday was how he liked that like driving is kept to a minimum in that game like there was a time there where like traversal was like really cool mm -hmm. like a part of it and some games do it really well like fallout i think is a game that you can kind of wander around and find stuff to do but like a lot of folks kind of got irked and like a bit tiresome of the whole traversal thing so like so many of these games have gotten way smaller again it is cool though draw this you just looking at that dude's crack <laughs> i don't know what you're doing oh that's funny do slow-mo is that only when you're on the rails yeah. Eat it. Eat it, OD. Rockin' asks, will Carrot Bob become a GameSpot staple? I certainly hope so. We should get Andy Bauman to make him in you snow. Oh, bad parts. Whoop. Boom. Whoop. Boop. Alright, where do I go now? Follow the tracks to the next crash site. Fuck you guys. Got a boost. So the one thing I want to know about this more than anything else is like what is the progression? Is it the straight up single player stuff? Mm -hmm. Is it clearing out zones? Like that's kind of become, like I'm still into that but it's kind of become a little bit trite. Did you play much of Second Son? I played like, oh, I feel bad. I only played like the first five hours of that game. I didn't finish it. Wasn't that game like set in your native city? It was, and but it took a lot of creative liberties with it. <laughs> okay. Like it absolutely nailed the look of the city. Yeah. But like just the layout of the different neighborhoods and stuff, and the fact that Seattle was split into like three islands. Yeah. When it's just one. <laughs> Did you not? Could you not find the park in town that you where you used to? Where I was born and conceived. Yeah. <laughs> born in that and order. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? <laughs> All right, let's have a little bit more story beats yeah. the, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll call a day on this bad boy. Um, 
It is a bit early. It, yeah, I'm kind of into this. I feel like if you have an Xbox One, this is probably a must. Yeah. Get. No, I'm, no I'll, I'll tell you this much. I'm definitely going to get it myself. And I'm, I'm looking forward to, to trying it. I like, I like Insomniac stuff. Pop. Pop. Yeah, I feel uh, this Christmas, more, way more than last year, way more than last year, is the year where if you were to pick up a PS4, an Xbox One, or a Wii U, there is like legitimately like five or like a half dozen games that you will absolutely love playing. Yeah. Like there's so much like I haven't I don't have a Wii U at home yet, um, and I'm uh, getting one definitely uh, this Christmas because between everything, but Mario Kart stuff is great, and, um, but like Bayonetta has been kind of skilled the deal. So we had one question earlier about like the speed of movement. Yes. Um, you can hold the right bumper down and it kind of enters oh, this okay. grind sprint mode. Ooh. So there you go, that answers one question uh, slightly. Red Hat Drew asks, what's the multiplayer component like? Um, did you play this in a trade show? Because I played... I haven't, I haven't tried any multiplayer yet. So the, they were showing off the multiplayer trade shows um, at, I think it was Gamescom and uh, Mary played it at the Tokyo Game Show, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and it was not great. It oh, was really? like, yeah, it was like, why are you demoing this part of this game? Like, this is not the way I, you would want to play this game. Um, so, I, like, there is a multiplayer component, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing what Peter has to say about it uh, in his review because it's, yeah, I don't think that's. Like, you don't play these games for that. Like, okay, like infamous. Like, you would never. I, yeah, you, is why that would a you game play that? You play for multiplayer. But then Just Cause Two, <laughs> or Three, sorry, came out and like. Completely flipped that one on its head. Uh, Success. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I didn't say this is coming out on Wii U. This is an Xbox One exclusive. Do you think it's going to come out on PC? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. Well, Dead Rising, they said it wouldn't, and then eventually. Yeah, that but stuff Dead kind of Rising is also like a game that's still like owned by Capcom. Right. And this, I'm pretty sure this IP is owned by Microsoft. So. Oh no, I think they own the IP. Oh, I might be wrong. I thought I saw. Um, Insomniac owns yeah, the that oh, they maybe. want, yeah. but Microsoft, yeah, but Microsoft like, co-funded and everything else. Oh, uh, do we have to say bye to Carrot Bob? Oh, Carrot Bob, come back! Why what is, is that? Guy? Is that like a naked witch or that's weird? A naked witch. It was a decal on the wall. Amp it up! Amp it up! Great. Sunset Overdrive. When's it out? I forget. So much amazing research done here on mm. the lobby. I'm in the mood to dance, are you? I am in the mood to dance. October 30th in Japan, Europe, and AU, and uh, on the 28th in the US of A. Uh, yeah, so there you go. You get to get your hands on it yourself next week. Goodbye, Carrot Bob. Bye-bye, Carrot Bob. Can you get a close-up of his butt? Can you go up against the wall and... Oh, yeah, he's just going to stand against the no, wall. No, no, turn around, turn him around, and then move the camera. Can we, not, can we get a real low down? Yeah, low, yeah, you can do it. I, I believe in you. Come on, keep going. I'm trying. I'm yeah, trying, Danny. Got move him away. Give it, give it. I'm, yeah, I'm pro at this. I'm doing this right. It's good enough. Carrot Bob. Good enough. Get it top down. You can see a lot of crack. Crack Bob. Yeah. All right. That was that. Was that.